got another flush called orb, Brandon. Another one? Yeah, and I seen it when you took the actual picture. Or when I took the actual picture, I even seen it. Alright. See? Right there, right above my thumb. That would have been up there. See it? Yep. Let's see it. Right now we are on airtight bridge. Right now what you're hearing is the ghost speaker going off. I'm just giving you an aerial 360 view of the bridge. Over there is the vehicle. What the heck? Oh, that's the sign. <laughs> Over here is Tina and Michael. I know. I know. But this is a close-up. Oh, no. I like this tripod, it's professional. Bloody. But right now I'm facing. You just said bloody. Tall. Tall. And she was 5'9, so she was tall. Hey, Michael, come look at this picture. China. He's standing there taking a leak. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I had to go really bad. But now, nah, as soon as I stepped here, dude, this beam made a noise. That's what I heard. Yeah. Oh, oh you God. mother. Mm. My flashlight ain't that bright. I didn't say your flashlight. You said your flash. He's going to do it again, so look away. Ass. I mean, I can always turn my flashlight on. Ass. Is that bright? Anyways. <laughs> huh? Is that bright? <laughs> Can you see what you're doing from all the way over here? Is that <laughs> Anyways, over here on where Mike was standing at is the actual side of where the... Uh, this is the actual side of where the body was found, but 50 feet down the river on the sandbar which when it dries up hopefully we can actually get down there at nighttime and actually do a uh, Navy P session where we would probably be able to get a little bit more hopefully more activeness too but the bridge itself has enough activeness of itself as it is we can't really trigger anything right now because we're not able to go down there now walking down the bridge and probably saying look there's a dead body that will be a trigger moment too yes he does have brain damage 
but <laughs> that right now is what we're talking about. So I'm gonna do a re a little I bit. But yeah, there's Mike walking down. I'm just walking with my camera. There's Tina and Mike. That's his legs with the flashlight. Hey! What? That's the reporter's name. Mark. Mark Temples. I'm just really cold out. Remember? Mark Temples. Mark Temples was the uh, reporter. Oh my god, I'm cold. You alright? Yeah, just my face is freezing. Yeah, we can see our breasts. Oh, it does work. Oh, Yay, right it works. Get out of here. It works. Lightning. Hey, there is lightning in the air. Hey, look, Mike, it works. Can you tell me any more of the names that were involved with the finding of your body or the investigation? Can you tell me the name of the guy who killed you? Or the two guys? Sidewalk. There is no sidewalk. There is no sidewalk. It it will say random stuff sometimes. Go towards the light. Twist. Alright, twist it around. We're going towards the light. What what significance with this? Broken. You had a funeral. Language. Hello. Strip. I'm not stripping. Share. I think I want you to strip and share. I mean, strip and share. I go. Down here. Right there. Right there. Turn off the flashlight. Trying to figure out how to turn it off. Okay. Oh. 
what does that do? The full spectrum light. Oh. That right there will allow us to capture shadows or, and stuff when the lights are combined with the ultraviolet and the infrared with the eyes of red, green, and blue. Okay. So when they combine, you see more of a color definition, but you can start picking up an actual shadow. Can you tell me what your daughter's name was? Vanessa? I just don't get a good feeling down here at all. Not down here. That's, hey, his, that's one of the trigger words right there. Or that's it says old and creaky. And it just said old. There's Confederate again. That's his EVP right there. And Ghost Speaker. Well, was there any like Confederate soldiers back in the day that were on this bridge? I don't know. I thought this bridge was built in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Can you tell how how you felt when it happened? Let's go to the regular night vision without the full spectrum. What was that? Oh, you're telling me you didn't just. What are you still doing here? That was Mike. Okay, Michael. Hey, at least I said excuse me. And then we're outside. True. Another one ready. Oh. Thank you. 
it's just me and the rock. There will be shadow play on this video. Or flashlight play. But that makes it good for a good uh, ambient sound because it can draw some white noise. Plus a good yeah, debunkable okay. noise yeah. too. I understand, but I also know that sometimes when there's water around or like lime deposit or whatever, that's what brings in the activity, right? Yeah, because they're attracted to the, uh, the running water. Running water actually creates a Picking up the ghost speaker, picking up the camera. Is it? Yeah. Huh? Here, Mike. Here. Here, Mike. Take your stuff. Yep. Where at? Up there? Yeah. Tracks. Here. Just watch. Oh, okay. This is you want to record it too? Yeah, I got it. But yeah, there's a it's a coon. Cause right there's a He's peeking over. Or, it's either a coon or a possum. Watch. You gotta get the camera up there. Yep, it did. My daughter. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's either a raccoon or an opossum. No, it's a coon, dude. Thanks. It's a raccoon. Yep, it's a coon. Yep. Nature's. Beautiful coon. Yeah, we don't want it to fall on us. I want to get a video of this. Maybe I can't figure it out. Oh. Start out with a laser. Oh, the damn camera won't I reach it. That was cool seeing a possum. Yeah, he's still walking. He's walking across. He's yeah, staying off. He's right there. I'm going to end the recording. Earthquake. Actually, I'm going to set the recorder over here, the camera. I see it. All right. I got up here by going to that tree. He's trying to figure a way down. That motherfucker gets down here and starts biting us. I'm all fucking. Oh my god. Well, we might want to, we might want to go ahead and call it. Yeah, because. Plus coyotes are around too.